Hey everybody, welcome to Insta Knowledge Series and in this video I'll be talking about the plinth level of our building. Okay, uh, alright so uh, let's just assume that uh, this is our ground level and uh, so if you have seen any residential building like uh, obviously you must have seen a residential building. Okay, so you must have seen that uh, our, you know, first floor or the ground floor is uh, raised above this uh, ground level, right? And uh, so you have to take some steps to go up to the ground level and there is your tour, right? So let us assume that this is your tour and this is your uh, ground floor, right? Okay, so this top level of this floor is called as the plinth level plinth level and height of this level from the ground we call as the plinth height plinth height and it varies from 300 to 450 mm all right okay so there can be uh, two cases right so first uh, your structure might be a wall structure and a second your structure might be a frame structure okay so in the wall structure if you have studied uh, the section of the wall structure uh, so you might have seen uh, your putting uh, something like this right so okay so let me draw a footing so okay and uh, then after that uh, so there you got your wall right and uh, so there is your floor uh, so after that it is similar to uh, this one right okay and uh, suppose that this is your ground and so you got steps to go inside and uh, there you got your uh, door and uh, again wall is continued over there all right, so uh, this is your uh, wall structure and this is your footing and you do, uh, so this entire reason is backfilling, right? This is the backfilling. Okay, so uh, in this uh, structure, so what you have to do is that at this plinth level, you have to do a uh, damp proofing. Okay, so that is called the DPC, damp proof concrete. So I'll make a separate video on this, you know, how the DPC is done. All right, so you have to make a concrete and you have to add some chemical, that's all, right? Okay, so you have to do uh, this DPC so that uh, the moisture from here doesn't uh, go up to uh, this wall uh, by the capillary action, alright? So you must wonder that there is a door, how I can go here, but uh, the, if you see the uh, elevation, so door is up to here only, right? So you got your entire wall here, so it might get like this. Okay, so by the capillary action, the water might go, and after like uh, many months or many years, you no, know, so there might be CPS on the wall. So to prevent this, what we do, we provide them them uh, or DPC over here. All right, and uh, so this is your ground floor, and uh, this is your floor finish, and it may be uh, PCC, plain cement concrete. All right, and uh, so below there is stone soling. Okay. And uh, okay, so if your structure is a framed structure, so in that case, what you have, you have got a footing, right? So it might be a rat foundation or isolated footing. And uh, so in that case, so this is your footing, right? And uh, so if this is a ground level, so you might have tie beam at uh, this level, right? So uh, let's assume that you got a four footing, okay? So one footing, two and three and four footings. And so this is your ground level, right? So this is your ground level, okay? and uh, so you got tie beams uh, like uh, uh, this okay so let me connect here and here as well and so uh, these are four columns or the four footings are connected with the help of the tie beam and in this situation the top of this tie beam is called as the plinth level plinth level and this is called your plinth height plinth height and uh, suppose that if we see uh, the plan of this uh, ground floor then uh, so suppose that this is our plan right so this is the plan of the building and uh, this area we call as the plinth area plinth area and this area is very uh, you know useful while doing estimation so uh, this is basically used for doing uh, rough estimations right so not the exact ones rough estimation we can use uh, the plinth area right so this entire area we call as the plinth area okay okay so uh, in this uh, situation in frame structure we do not we do not provide any kind of uh, dpc or damp of concrete layer over here uh, but if you have constructed a shear wall right so suppose uh, this is your raft foundation and if you have made a shear wall over here and if you have done a back filling here right so if this is your, your soil then you have to do uh, a waterproofing membrane here all right okay so uh, this was for this video hope this video was helpful thank you for watching take care